So this movie currently holds a 99% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and let me just tell you that the hype is real. So Mad Max Fury Road I think is the third or fourth Mad Max movie in the Mad Max franchise. Uh, personally I haven't seen any of the other Mad Max movies so I have no idea what I was getting into when I was when I went into Fury Road but I just know from the trailers that it looked like a lot of crazy action and a lot of crazy stuff happening and I was like you know what that sounds fun let's give that a shot and holy crap this movie is insane so if you can't already tell from the trailer this movie focuses on a lot of crazy over-the-top action that is mostly practical effects so the story is pretty simple Charlie Theron's character is driving a truck from point A to point B but in that journey from point A to point B a lot of people are coming after her and a lot of crazy shit happens and Max is of course involved in this crazy shit as well but the thing I liked about it is that even though the movie is called Mad Max it didn't actually put too much emphasis on Max itself in fact it gave quite a lot of uh, focus to the other characters that weren't Max you know uh, characters like Charlie Theron whose character is called Furiosa and also the other characters that are in this movie. Especially Nicholas Holt's character which was actually for an action movie given quite a bit of character development which was pretty surprising and actually really good. Speaking of the characters, the character designs in this movie are pretty insane. Like I don't know what, ha what George Miller thinks about in his spare time but the character designs are really distinctive and in all the action sequences you can always tell who's who, you know, who's the good guy, who's the bad guy who's from what, like, war fraction and all that stuff it, and it was just really 100% clear, like, you, you never really felt even, even with so much carnage going on, you never felt lost in the action unlike, you know, the Transformers movies, which just like, it's just a scrap heap of metal flipping and shit the action here is super clear and it's probably what Michael Bay wishes he could accomplish. And seriously, this movie is pretty much an action movie from start to finish. It starts with an action sequence and it pretty much ends on one as well. And it never drags on, like every sequence is paced really well with like a little bit of downtime in between for you to catch your breath because you will need to catch your breath. And the soundtrack to the movie adds so much to the action that it takes it from being amazing to freaking bad shit crazy insane amazing and the subtle humor here and there is also a nice touch and makes the movie just like that little bit enjoy more enjoyable to watch it's pretty crazy to think that a lot of the stunts in this movie are actually done like they were practical effects and not just CGI I mean obviously there is gonna be some CGI in the movie like the whole sand like driving through the sandstorm and all that stuff but for the most part it is practical effects and you can tell how awesome it looks and how you know legit <laughs> it feels on screen. The point is guys, go see Mad Max Furio. This movie is insane. Just enjoy some balls to the wall, high octane action with a surprisingly deep and very well designed world. And I honestly can't wait for the next few Mad Max movies to come out. And I can only hope that they are as good as this because they set the bar really high on this one. And for the sequels, they are gonna have do a lot of work. Mad Max Furio is easy one of the best movies I've seen this year so far. Definitely top 5. I'd very much like to watch it again because it's just, there's so much to appreciate in terms of the cinematography, the world building, the characters. But anyway guys, have you seen Mad Max Fury Road? What do you think about it? Leave a comment down below. And remember, if you like this review, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.